Doc Lake, Saskatchewan, along about supper time on the Monday evening of July 28, 2014. Looking southward across the North Access Road. Glacial lake bed down there for miles and miles. We're standing on the grounds of the museum. Looking over to busy Highway 11, the Louis Riel Trail between Regina and Prince Albert. That white car is heading for Prince Albert to the northeast, about 44 k away. Saskatoon is 88 the other way. Oh, I lost a draft. Hmm, place to have supper. The South Saskatchewan River is maybe 6 k beyond the highway, heading for its confluence with the North Saskatchewan, just at the east of Prince Albert, maybe 100 kilometers downstream. The little house behind the teepee frames and a jail up where Almighty Voice was kept after he disagreed with the authorities in the 1890s. And this is the museum. You can climb up into the tower and look all around. Buy yourself some Glenn Scrimshaw art. And remember the resistance of 1885, the Troubles, down by the rail line where only four elevators were ever built in Duck Lake. The big one here is the 1928 McLaughlin, which is the Saskatchewan Wheat Pool on. And I think the, the annex is the 1911 North Star Green. The other two were Saskatoon Milling and Saskatchewan Pool elevators, which burned. Sounds like they're hard at work, clean and see. Looking back at the museum. The west side of Front Street. The town site is laid out perpendicular to the rail line that the CPR built through here in 1890. Famous Capel Long Lake and Saskatchewan Railway. Canadian Pacific leased the line, they called it their Prince Albert Branch, 246.8 miles from the main line at Regina to Prince Albert. In July of 1906, however, they lost the lease to the Canadian Northern, who took it to the Canadian National in 1917. The name Duck Lake is a geographical descriptor of the remnant of the Glacial Lake that stretched out to the south and to the east-west from here, right on the northern shore of it. For millennia out of mind, the lake has been a great resource for waterfowl for indigenous folks. The station might have stood right. Holy mackerel! Unseasonal already at Duck Lake. Yikes! side of Main Street. Yeah. What the hell? This mural depicts Chief Beardy, Pound Maker, and Big Bear signed Treaty 6 in 1876 in August at nearby Fort Carlton. The Beardies and Gamesis reserves on the Southeast corner of the Lake Dwarf, Duck Lake Proper. The old Bank of Montreal building built in 1922 to replace an earlier structure of the bird. Murals on the east side of Front Street. You can see the Red River carts. And these were used by the Métis to come out from largely the Red River to hunt buffalo in this area. On the other side of the North Saskatchewan River, in the elbow of the North Saskatchewan River, lived a huge buffalo herd. The Métis will want to come out to hunt them on a seasonal basis and hang around La Canard for a bit of waterfowl, perhaps. After the troubles at Red River in 1870, many Métis came up to 
settle in this area, get away from the British, following the old Fort Carlton Trail to the crossing of the North Saskatchewan River, just to the west of us here. It's on 33K. I don't know when the Bank of Montreal gave up this building, but it's now the town offices. The village of Duck Lake was incorporated on December 29th, 1898, under the old territorial law. And it became a town on November the 1st, 1911, and still is. It's the headquarters of the rural municipality of Duck Lake, number 463, which was created in 1913. Looks like he used to could have got gas at the post office there. Pioneer merchant F.W. Staubert and his partner Hilliard Mitchell settled at La Canard in early 1870s. And it was their employee, Albert Scott, who opened the Staubert post office on May 1st, 1879. It was closed for a few months during 1885. The name was changed on November the 1st, 1894 to Duck Lake. Looking northeast up 4th Street to Victoria Avenue and nearby is the old Victoria School built in 1913. I don't know when it stopped being a school but it's the library and an art gallery now. On the same block as the combination station and section house, the Canadian Pacific built in 1891 at mile 211.4 on the Prince Albert branch. This is the front of it, trackside. It was sold off in 1982 and moved here. On the west end of town is All Saints Anglican, built in 1896 to serve the great influx of English speakers who arrived in this heartland of French settlement after the uprising of 1885. But another old church, I think, with a mural depicting the vibrancy of Duck Lake town life in the 1890s, I guess. The congregation of the Blessed Sacrament Parish was established in 1877. I don't know when this church dates to. It looks like a 1920s construction, but I'm not sure. The new school, named after Mr. Stoppert on the south end of town. Well, they've got a curling rink and a skating rink in Duck Lake. Volunteer fire department. The school is K-12. The population of Duck Lake in 2011 was 577, with the further 1,100 folks living on the reserves. And that's about a, a third of their membership. And out by the museum are these gems, nice and green. And this green, too, on the south end of town, by the old highway. Just west of town on the old Carlton Trail, this site where 17 guys died and who knows how many were injured. All for naught, really. We all surrendered two months later, and that was that was it. Duck Lake, Saskatchewan.